Okay, so we have all of this together. So somebody remembered when I go to town in the truck that I need to get uh, a fan belt. <laughs> so just just remind me that I need a fan belt for my engine because I don't. Uh, <laughs> I will forget. So the question is, let's look at the back of the. I guess can the oil pan go back on now? It probably can, can it? I don't think the oil pan interferes with the gearbox. All right, there we go. Then don't pee on the engine. Let's see here. So IROC, thank you for the help there. And once again, I could kind of see that could be a problem because the the uh, you could you could kind of see it hanging over. A little bit. Uh, let's see here. But it does, it bolts, it actually bolts in. You can see here the oil pan actually bolts into that cover. So you have to have the oil pan on second. You can't do it first, so... Go. See you in a minute, Gator. And then we're gonna see you later, alligator. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna we're gonna finish this. I wanna I wanna tighten that up so I don't forget. Otherwise, we'll be pouring oil in there and it's gonna all pour right back out again. Okay. Um, and so we have the motor pan or the oil pan. Uh oh. Do that. I don't like that. I don't like that fact that that filter comes loose like that. That's pretty majorly bad. Oh, <laughs> oh that'll never work. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> don't tell my mom. Dude. Burb. All right. So I th does this go next? I think that, yeah, that goes next. That's our little clutch or engine plate. Oh, I forgot some things on the front. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Nope, stop it. Ah, oh, crap. Oh! <laughs> Good night, Steve-O. See you next time, buddy. All right, we forgot to put the flywheel shaft on. There we go. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I want my tools. There we go. How big is that thing? It's smaller. There we go. That's all set, fixed. Oh, put your tool away, tool. And this is going to go where? This is going to go here. Right. Doop. Oh, it has a bunch of little bolts. Look at that. That's so cute. Nope. Nope. Taste the rainbow. Um, I can't reach that one. So I apologize for not doing Euro Truck Simulator tonight. Just everything. I had to wash both my cars and vacuum them out because I haven't cleaned them in forever and they were both a mess. And then... Uh, I had two photo shoots that I did. I had to get those photos edited. It just my, my day just ended up taking a lot longer than I wanted it to. And so I ended up missing out on Euro Truck Simulator. I tried to get home early enough and get my stuff done soon enough that I could do it, but it just didn't work out. So no, ETS 2, maybe I'll do it tomorrow night. No promises. Um, dang it. Stop it. Um, but I will try to do it tomorrow night. I just I can't promise that I'm going to do it tomorrow night. Does this thing engage here? I honestly thought this plugged into the motor somewhere. Um, yeah, I'll, oh, that's cool. I'll have to check the trailer out. That's cool. 
<laughs> Farm some 15. Hey, you know what? It's a great product. Plepio says he's still playing 15, and that's fine. It's a good product. Does anybody know where the drive gear goes? I think it might be going. It might go into the trans. Oh, yep. Irock says it plugs into the trans. See, Irock knows all this stuff. <laughs> I feel like I've done this with you before, Irock. I think. Let's see. I did this. I just I crammed it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Well, get 17, because 17 will go on sale, too, for half off. Um, It was just a couple weeks ago, I think it was half off. Did anything go there? No, nope, that's all that. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the transmission here, and it's pretty compact. It's all together, but we need to put uh, the assembly together first, I think. This is going to take me a little bit to figure out, because once again, we have the same kind of... Oh, it's getting dark outside. What do we have? We have the starter. That back over here because I think that mounts inside the car once again. I could be wrong, but oh, yeah, spark plugs too. Can't forget that. <laughs> we could actually, but okay, how does this go? Crankshaft or flywheel? The flywheel goes on like that. Not like that though. Okay, whatever. Whatevs. Whatevs. All right, get our thing out. It's funny how it shows that you can't do this, and then I'm doing it. That's awesome. I wish I could have gotten that knowledge. I did shop and stuff when I was in high school, so I understand the the drafting portion of it, but. And for those of you that are watching on YouTube, when I just start talking randomly, it's because I'm answering comments. They're like, what is he talking about? Now this, if I remember right, somehow this all ah, this all goes together. I think this goes here, and then that goes there. And then this, ah, knocks the motor off the table. Ah. Ta-da! That's it. And now we gotta bolt it all on. It's a different size, of course. Let's start with the littlest. Nope. And then here. Welcome aboard, whoever just bling blee blued. So we just joined. What's up, Ryan? Yeah? What for? I completely forgot that we had a target here at all. This is freaking in the back. Oh, yeah. How Did that stuff come off the bumper? Yes. Does it look clean and stuff? Yes. Good job, Ryan. Okay, I got to run a little target that looks like closed in like an hour. Are you taking the blue car or your wagon? My car. The car's already pulled in the garage shut. Okay, can you do me a favor? Could you um, put my that camera bag in the trunk? The black one. Oh, it still hurts. Because that's, that's what I'm taking in the morning. That way I don't have to worry about it. Don't forget the clothes and stuff that I need for tomorrow. Ooh, how'd you do that? I don't know. I started bleeding. I cut and bleed. So I have this. Oh, did you end up taping the blue thing on? Yes. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's what I got. We have, we'll see you, Ryan. Have fun. Um, we have these little, uh, don't be too long. I have this, uh, I have a, uh, 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 um, on my car, my real car, there's a little plastic piece that covers the tow hitch um, on the bumper. There's two of them. There's one on each side. And f from the start of me having this thing, it keeps popping off, and it makes me crazy. It doesn't fall all the way off because it has a little string that holds it on, but it's off, and it makes me nuts. Of course, you know me as you know who I am and how little stuff like that bugs me. Um, this really bugs me, and I cannot, for the life of me, get this little piece to stay on. I've tried tape, I've tried glue, I've tried, you know, all kinds of adhesives. Well, today, I bought some, like, super gorilla glue, and I'm like, this will hold it. And so I went down there and put the glue on, and um, it didn't work, of course. And so um, I tried to 
uh, it got, I got a little, my fingerprint got it on, and I got a fingerprint on the front of the little piece. And I'm, all right, Southern Rebel, have fun uh, getting a sandwich. And I was like, oh, man, this will be fine. I'll just wipe this off. So I got some Gooby gone and started rubbing it. And without knowing it, I didn't realize it was actually um, going down onto the, the um, lower part of the bumper and leaving huge pieces of it there. Anyway, I ended up with this huge mess on the bumper. I'm like, oh, no. Like, I looked down, and then I couldn't get it off, and it dried hard. So I Ryan went to the – I sent Ryan. I had to do my work. I'm like, I got, listen, I can't mess around with this anymore. I have to, I have to work. And so Ryan went to um, uh, the drugstore and um, ended up – man, these are all – make sure these are all tight. Ooh, something was loose. Ryan went to the drugstore and got and got a uh, um, what do you call it uh, nail polish remover and was able to get it off. Well, here's the thing: I don't really want to mess with it more. And the part of the problem is that there's really nothing to stick to. It has two plastic pieces that are supposed to like hold it on, like little clips, but they're not. Nothing else really touches anything, so it kind of floats in there, and it just there's nothing to connect to, and so. Um, I could try any any kind of epoxies or anything that I use. It just doesn't seem to work. So what I do right now is I have uh, I have packaging tape around the outside <laughs> to, to hold it in, and it's working. But it's ugly, you know. I mean, it's like a really cool car, and then there's this piece of packaging tape on the front holding the this little bumper plate on. And uh, so I have to go. I'm going to be going to um, see. I think I missed one of these last time I did this. Stick gum to it, right? Well, I'm just going to end up taking because it's under warranty. And I just, you know, I wanted to avoid having to go to Toyota, but I'm going to end up having to take it to the dealership and just go, hey, fix this. So, uh, but anyway, I had gunk all over it, and I was panicked this afternoon because I'm like, oh, like I couldn't get the gunk off. I'm like, great. Now if I take it to the dealership, they're going to be like, you can't do it. So, anyway, I'm just going to I'm just gonna make them replace the part and get one that actually fits right because it was, like, not manufactured right. So, <laughs> just make them deal with it. Yeah, that's true. You probably could use gum. Gum would actually work, but it, here's the thing: that it would push it out, so it wouldn't be flush. It's really weird. You have to see it, like see what I'm talking about, because it has to be flush. And there's not a lot of room in there, but at the same time, it doesn't touch. It's it's really silly. Okay, those are all tight. Now, if you guys remember, last time I drove the car, I some somewhere I missed something, and uh, I ended up this ended up popping off. That might have been it. Maybe that was the screw that I missed right there. But, um, yeah, I had to, I, if you guys remember, I drove down the road a little bit, and then all of a sudden I wasn't getting anything. That's so funny. I'll do some gum. Is there any specific kind of gum that'll work better? Because I could at least do it till I get to the dealer. I won't be able to get to the dealership until next week, so. All right, that's all on. That, whatever this is, is that the alternator? What is that? No, that's, okay, that sticks to the. Look at that, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Nobody ever even uses those hooks. It's too much of a pain, probably, to get them out. So we have the oil pan on. We have the. Yeah, in fact, it looks to me like you couldn't even get the gearbox on without the oil pan being on, because that's. Oh, look! What do you see? See what I see? Yeah, right there. There's a loose something or other. Glad I looked. Square gum. See that right there? I totally missed that. Let's see if there's any others. I don't think there are, but... <laughs> what about Big League Chew? I just like the name. Big League Chew. Welcome aboard, Sanders. Yeah, once again, guys, if you like the channel and you've got your free Amazon Twitch subscriptions, be sure to subscribe because uh, I am now an affiliate, and that will help my channel earn income. So da, 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 da. Uh, we have all this done. That looks sweet. Oh... Uh, 
I don't see any bolts that are missing. Looks good. All looks good. Okay. So, um, probably could mount it into the car now. We have the radiator, the pipes, all that stuff, the hoses. Um, I'm going to put this... Uh, I don't want to put the rocker cover on now. Um, let's see here. Yeah, there's a bunch of big buds still in service, those smaller ones. But there was an 1100, huh? They did... So they did... Uh, um, what? Which which one is it? Is it the big one, like the one that's in the museum? And I've heard that they did eventually, or finally take that one to the... to its maximum. It's a one-time deal. Okay. But yeah, there's a bunch of big buds. There's literally hundreds of them out there. Yeah, that's the big one. Well, I don't even know if it was a prototype necessarily. It was the one that we see in the game. Um, and it was... A single tractor that they built. Yeah, maybe it was a like a prototype thing, but they did. They actually used it, so um, it, it was in use for many years, or several years anyway. They still use a bunch of tractors like that in Australia. I know I've seen a, a video of those big bud style tractors in Aussie land. Now I got a question. I wonder if this. If I'm doing tool time, is that a spark plug socket? Yeah, it was. It said spark plug socket. Cool. Cool. There we go. Aha. Oh, man. I'm having fun. Okay, so there's all that. The block is together. Uh, the hardest part is getting it in the car, really. I hate using this thing. It's such a pain to get it to work right. Um, but I suppose it's time, isn't it? So let's go ahead and... Slowly and carefully. <laughs> Is that possible with Arthur? Mm, you know what? Maybe I'm going to go to bed for the night and we'll do it in the morning. Let's do that real quick. We'll continue. I'm not going to stop playing yet, but um, we're going to disconnect this so that stupid doesn't call me in the middle of the night. And we're going to just, let's see, fatigue, sleep. What is the beer case method? Is that how you go to like drink yourself to sleep? Is that what you, is that what that is? New equipment, huh? Yikes. Like I wonder how much of it is um like if they get government loans for that stuff. I'm sure they probably do. I'm sure there's grants and stuff for them to do it. And you know, some people get upset by that, but for me I'm like, you know what? These guys are um, these guys are, uh, you know, providing food for the nation, and we're going to whine about them getting... Anyway, that's, just, that's a pet peeve of mine. Looks like it's pretty early in the morning, huh? The sun's just coming up. That's good. Sleep was good. How, okay, so I don't... Under, how, the, to put Oh, using the beer case to put the engine in the car. So what do you do? You put a beer case underneath the under like you roll the car in, put a beer case in there, and then and then set the car on top of it. Is that or or set the motor on top of it? Is that how that works? We'll try it. Um, we need to we need to wash though. My guy's getting stinky dirty. All right, so I'm assuming you push the car in, put the beer case under, and then put the motor on top. And we'll try that. I need to get some more water. And I know this isn't... Here's the thing. You can sit on the top seat also to get clean. And I also heard someone say that they are putting... the Like, there's, they're going to actually make it so that you can shower soon. Um, which is great. Because that's really... That, that would really help a lot to be able to just shower normally. Instead of having to do all this, like, scooping and stuff. But uh, you, oh, I have three apps ready for update. Soybeans. Yeah, I'm sure there's probably some uh, method to all that. T 
Ta-da. Welcome aboard, everybody. Hey, we're up to 19 viewers. That's great. Oops, I missed. <laughs> Once again, if, if you are just joining in for the first time, I actually finally did get my affiliates offer from Twitch. So if you have Amazon Prime or if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome because then I actually end up getting paid for doing this. <laughs> but I have had several people subscribe tonight using their, their Twitch Prime membership. So don't forget, if you have Amazon Prime, you get to subscribe to, I think it's like five people for free or something like that. So you can subscribe to your favorite people. So, hey, we're up to 21. Sweet. All of a sudden, we're booming. And I have only got 15 minutes left. It stinks. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do. Oh, you put the beer case inside the engine bay. Okay, have the socket ready. Does anybody know what size bolts the engine uses? I don't, but we're going to try this. I think I left my water on. I, I wish I had a hot date. No, I actually have to get up. Uh, I have to get up a, about 3 30, 4 o'clock tomorrow morning because I have a shoot in Pennsylvania. I have to start at 8 o'clock in the morning, and it's about three and a half hours away. So I'm going to have to leave very early in the morning to fulfill my photo shoot. So let's see. I'm going to put the I'm going to put the arms of love out. There we go. I'm going to very slowly push this car over the beer case. Yeah. Yeah, no dates yet. <laughs> it's one part of my life that I probably don't have time for anyway, but <laughs> it would be nice to go on a date with somebody that I'm interested in. <laughs> Uh, all right. Okay, gotta push a little more. Push a little, a little. There we go. Oh. Yeah, five thirty. No, four thirty. I have to. I have to be on the road. I have to be on the road by like five or five fifteen. I think. Actually, no. I need to be on the road by four four thirty four forty five. Probably. Um, oh, he. You have to get up at five thirty. Yeah. Ouch. Okay. Rotate 90 degrees. Oh! Okay. Now, which 90? Do I go this 90? Like that? Or, that's option one. Here's option two. Option two. Option one or option two? I'm assuming it's going to be option two, but that looks like it makes sense. It's <laughs> <laughs> the good old beer case method. I love this. <laughs> oh, man. Option three. Uh-oh. Really? So you think like this? That would be option three right there. Is That, that looks too high because now the... Now the, uh, the, the camshafts or whatever, the... Uh, So just like this. Okay. All right. That's option two. <laughs> okay. We're going to try this, guys. Let's see how this goes. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I left my water running. Yeah. Oh, that's one nice thing about being, of course, spoiled thing about being self-employed is for the most part, I just, uh, all right, so it sits in there, but any... Oh, 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 don't push the beer case over. Uh, what am I going to... Oh, where's the engine mounts? Hmm. I'm trying to see if I can get a hold of the block. Let's scoot it over just a little bit. It's going to go more like this way. I think the beer case shifted too much. <laughs> Face palm. <laughs> Where does it attach? <laughs> uh, let's see. I have the motor in. Oh, no. Turn the filter. Stop turning that filter. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's that. 
Oh, okay, so it's a transverse mount. I forgot. Okay, so the, this is going to be... Let's see. This way? <laughs> Crap! Uh, no, I need to get further away. I know, I, I hate when I throw my engine through the windshield, exactly. Uh... See if I lean in, maybe. No, that can't be. Is that right? No. Is that right? Yeah, because the... Ex oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, be oh, okay. it goes up here. See that now? You can see here where the, the differentials are going to... Or the, the half shafts are going to connect to the... the um, the engine right there. So I, I just see it. I see what you're saying. I know exactly where it goes now. Uh, and that's okay. Once again, when we're done building the car, I'm going to have to do the, the free fix anyway because that that kind of stuff always happens. That's just it's a little bit of a bug. <laughs> and I ain't paying like $1,000 to have that fixed. Uh, all right, so there we go. So now getting this here. All right. Yeah, I totally forgot that this was a trans transverse engine. No! No. Ah. Getting too crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Which I don't know if this is harder than doing the other way or I don't know. It's close. If the beer case wouldn't move around so much, it would be a little bit easier. I think we got it where we need it. Okay. And this is going to connect up. I need to get it set down where it's not. I need to grab it from somewhere else. Let's see here. All right. See, but I can't have it rotate like that because that means that... Get a hold of the block, buddy. Block. There we go. Uh, I see the bolt that it connects to right there. Man, if I could just... There's a way to just ease it in. Oh, it was close. Uh, uh, right, It goes right there. Like, that goes right there. Mm. Shizzle, sh schnizzle, schnitz. Ugh. Oh. I think I'm going to have to just use the re the regular way to do it, which is a pain in the butt, but that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we'll grab this case out. And we're going to set this down. <laughs> and get the stupid engine lift. Everything about this engine lift I hate. But I see exactly where it's supposed to go. I just am not getting it. <sighs> Can't believe I broke the windshield. Broken windshield. All right, so we're gonna move our 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 holder moist out, and uh, oops, I want to walk right through it because I pressed the wrong button. Gonna lower this thing down. It was <laughs> it was worth it was worth the hilarity of breaking a windshield. That was pretty funny, actually. Yeah, I think that was worth that was definitely worth it. I like stuff like that. It's the spontaneous stuff about this game that makes me laugh. It's at least I didn't die. That's the big thing. I, I survived. The windshield did not. I did. Mm. 
Okay, there we go. And I'm going to grab this. And this is going to go somewhere in there like that. This, this is also a pain, I guess. Though maybe not as hard as that was. I don't know. Um. A little bit more. A little more. More. There we go. 